On this episode of Terry Nation, we'll compare the men's and women's ice hockey seasons so far. And we'll take a look ahead at the men's and women's basketball seasons. All this and more tonight. Good evening and welcome back to Terrier Nation. I'm your host, Maddie Shealy. And I'm Christian Nival. I don't know about you, Maddie, but I am so ready for Thanksgiving break. I am too. I am so ready for some relaxation, some turkey, but not before we discuss the season the BU men's hockey team is having. Oh yeah, their season didn't start off so great. They're currently 4-7-1, and one. but after their last game, things may be looking up. The Terriers managed to pull out an overtime win against UMass Amherst this last Saturday after tying the Minutemen the day before. Junior Dominic Fensore forced a turnover with just over 90 seconds remaining and passed to Case McCarthy for the final goal to put the Terriers on top. BU is looking to carry this momentum into their game against Northeastern to hopefully fix that losing record. The women's ice hockey team is also hoping to use the momentum from their last game to improve their 6-4-3 record. After a string of losses in the previous three contests, the Terriers blasted two late power play goals to defeat Holy Cross 3-1 this past Friday. The Crusaders opened the scoring halfway through the first period, but the Terriers scored three unanswered goals in the third to clinch the win. BU's McKenna Parker had her fifth career two-goal game and her first one since January of 2020 when BU also faced Holy Cross. The Terriers will travel to Maine on Friday to take on the Black Bears for the first time this season. The Terriers will sure be hungry for a win, just like I am for some mashed potatoes. Not too fast, Christian. Let's throw it over to Sabrina Sladich to find out what we can expect from the women's basketball team this season. The BU women's basketball team started the season ranked second in the preseason poll and kicked things off with a resounding win against UMass Lowell. BU's returning class showed up strong with junior Sydney Johnson and redshirt senior Emily Esposito leading the way in scoring. The Terriers welcomed a new coach to the program this year, Coach Melissa Graves, who comes to the program after helping the Wake Forest team reach their second ever NCAA tournament appearance, the first in over 40 years. Despite this auspicious start to the season, the Terriers have been struggling to maintain their success after their inaugural match. They currently stand at 2-4 and four on the season and have lost all three of their most recent contests. Still, you can't count the Terriers out yet. They only lost each of those games by six points or less, and with conference play quickly approaching, it's safe to assume the Terriers are going to give us an exciting season of basketball. It sure sounds like we can expect an exciting season for the Terriers, Maddie. Absolutely. Now let's throw it over to Arabia A. Goodlow to find out what kind of season we can expect to see from the men's basketball team. Thanks, Maddie. BU men's basketball has had a somewhat rocky start to their season. The men's team lost their first game to Rhode Island 62-71. In their home opener, the team had a victory against Gordon College 85-61. BU lost by the skin of their teeth in a close game against Northeastern 48-49, but the team followed with another win against Hartford 75-70. The team has a lineup against Northern Illinois, Florida State, and Merrimack for the remainder of November. Grad player Javante McCoy and senior Walter White are on fire out there, leading as top scorers for the season so far. Excited to see how McCoy White and other players like freshman Malcolm Chemezi perform this season. Stay tuned in with us here at Terrier Nation to stay updated on the status of the men's basketball team as they progress further into the season. Thanks, Arabia. And that will do it for tonight's episode of Terrier Nation. Be sure to follow us on Twitter for all the BU Sports updates. I'm Maddie Shealy. And I'm Christian Ival from all of us here in the studio. Thanks for joining us and have a wonderful break.